have as much control over my body as someone else does. I mean, you can work out all you want. I was training for the Ironman for crying out loud and and this came up, so it wasn't that. It wasn't that I'd done something wrong. But I do fear for Avery. I just don't want her to get it and to go through the same thing I have. Cause she's already kind of going through it now. And I hope that if it ever happened to her that she would have me and John and our families there to support her. And that maybe there would be more advances. It amazes me how much of an impact such an amazing family makes. I know so many people who do not have families like like we do who are there to help us at every point of this journey. And to my husband, John, who has suffered through so much, you know, has put up with me even though I'm not the wife I want to be for him. He deserves to be really happy. And I think a lot of times he chooses mediocrity just so that our family can have a better life. And to Avery, who's just oh, absolutely phenomenal. John and I really cherish the time that we have with her. Even when I'm sick, even if it's just falling asleep at night with her, for me, that is just... That really makes my day. You know, you're born, you live, and you die. And every single person on this earth that you have an interaction with, whether negative or positive, will always leave a mark on your life. So I hope I've made mine. such a roller coaster of emotions and bitterness certainly is one of those emotions but I'd like to hope that whenever that time comes when it's the end of my life that I'm not I'm not bitter that I'm at peace with what is sitting up on the rock in this little oasis area with Amy singing a whole bunch of ridiculous songs totally off tune was probably like the biggest highlight of the whole trip just because it was so like us before all of the hard stuff that we've had to go through. And today I got to drive the boat for a little bit and it was a really scary thing to do. It's this big stick that you wiggle back and backwards and forwards and you control the speed with turning your hand and it's so far removed from anything that I've done before that it was kind of fun to do it because it was just so different. Um, but it was also kind of scary because there's like rocks on either side and you like you try to compensate and you go way over here and you try to compensate and you go way over here and so it was like constantly trying to stay away from the rocks and stuff. And I did a nice big donut, which was awesome. <laughs> I definitely went on more of a journey than I thought I would. Um, and there are a lot of takeaways that I have to take from from this whole experience. I feel a validity in my emotions that I didn't really feel before and it's really allowed me to let go of the guilt that I feel because it's normal for me to feel this way and opening up lines of communication is a really really big thing and really just letting people know when things hurt and when things are rough 
and also when things are good, you know, like just to, to be able to, you know, ride the tide, whether it's going up or down, be this one huge rapid that we were going to ride. Um, and everybody had been talking about it. It was like talked about from day one, this lava, the, lo the lava rapid was talked about from day one as like the big thing that you're we going to do. And everybody else went up and saw it. And I was like, no, you know what? I don't want to look at it. Right now I'm going to live in this moment on the boat, have a few last conversations and just kind of enjoy this time on still water and worry about the rapid when it gets here. And by doing that, I, I think I enjoyed it so much more because I had no idea what was in store. And it just, the whole thing was just so exciting and so much fun. And I wasn't worried about the big, the big hits that were coming because I didn't know they were coming. And it, I think it really, like that's a big metaphor for, you know, how, how I feel coming out of this is that I need to just, you know, the future's gonna be the future no matter what I think about it. And the moment that I have is right now. And the people that I have are the ones that are with me right now. And no matter how much time I have, right now is gonna matter. To pay more attention to the moment that I'm in and pay less attention to the what ifs of the future. To be a healthy supporter, I have to take care of myself, which I didn't think about before. In order to be there for Amy, I really need to be able to deal with my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions as well. And then only then can I be actually be able to help her. You end up coming back with new perspectives and new feelings, and, and that often helps. Just getting away. What legacy do you want to leave for Amy? I think I just want her to know that she's loved. Because I don't know of anything else that's better to give or receive. You can have all the money in the world. But it's love that gets you through it. Cancer has changed our lives, but who is to say that it's changed for the better or for the worse? We will never know what could have been. All that we can know is our current reality, and all we get to choose is where we will go from here. So do not choose anger and bitterness. It cannot change the past. In fact, all it can do is ruin the future. The best thing we can do when faced with great suffering is to live our life well despite of it. Not straining after epic and amazing feats, but just living and loving those around us with the perspective of one who has known both tragedy and triumph, both pain and great joy. One thing is certain, because of cancer, we will not be counted among those cold, timid souls who have known neither victory or defeat. We are walking through a very deep valley, and although it may take a long time to climb out, it is possible if we remember that our only true defeat is giving into bitterness. No matter how our cancer journey ends, we can all be victorious. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be scared. It's okay, it's okay to hurt. It's okay to not have the answers. It's okay to not know what to do to help. It's okay to reach out to people and it's okay to realize that you need support too. I have made mistakes. I have made mistakes I can Promises I've made. The promises I've made. I continue to break.
break them All the doubts are faced All the doubts are faced I continue to face them But nothing is a waste Nothing is a waste If you learn from it The sun it does not cause us The sun it does not cause us to grow It is the rain that will strengthen The rain that will strengthen your soul It will make you whole Oh